Hey everyone, Rory here once again. I'm just going to go through a quick lesson on dynamics. Dynamics are really important for you drummers out there because it has a lot to do with how you strike the drum, or in uh, a more easier way to understand it, or a more appropriate way to explain it, would be the volume of your strokes. Um, it can be quite confusing because at the beginning of a score or a piece, or at multiple parts in the piece, you'll have these dynamic markings, okay? Um, and they all mean something. So first of all, let's go from it, from the very beginning. PP stands for very soft, okay? It means pianissimo, very soft or softly. Piano, softly, and then we add the M, which is mezzo, which means moderately. So obviously, if piano is soft, and M is moderately, we'll have moderately soft. Now we move into the F bracket. Obviously moderately, and the F stands for forte, which is loud. Moderately loud. F, loud, and double F would be fortissimo, which is very loud. Okay, so once again we'll run through those with their names and what they mean. Pianissimo, very soft. Piano. Soft. Mezzo piano. Moderately soft. Mezzo forte. Moderately loud. Forte. Loud. Fortissimo. Very loud. Okay, so those are sort of the most common uh, dynamic markings that you're going to encounter. And as a drummer, we play a ridiculously loud instrument, so these are really, really important to get right. Uh, a good drummer will vary his dynamics as he plays the piece. And also, for example, when a guitarist might play a solo, the dynamics on the drums will usually be lower to allow them to have their moment of soloing. It's really to benefit the whole piece. Okay, the next thing we're just going to cover is these two bits here. This is a crescendo, which means that over time the notes gradually get louder. Okay, you can see it starts together and increases in distance. Crescendo. Gradual increase in intensity or volume. The next one is the complete opposite. It's a diminuendo or sometimes called a decrescendo. Okay, it really is just the opposite. It starts off loud and gradually decreases in volume. Okay, crescendo, diminuendo or decrescendo. Okay, that'll be all for today. Hope you've learned something and we'll be using these all week in lesson. See you then.